Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'll show you how I made this cute mini bag that you can make as a keychain, a bag charm, airpods holder, anything uh, you like. And I use a chunky yarn, a mini Chanel yarn. So let's go ahead and start. I'll show you the materials that you need. Alright guys, so for this tutorial, I'm using mini Chanel yarn. So you can use any worsted weight yarn that you have. But for me, uh, this is the best yarn for this cute AirPod holder or mini bag. Um, and I'm using 3.5 millimeter hook. So this is smaller than what is recommended. So recommended hook size is 4 to 5 millimeter, but I want 3.5. And of course, you'll use two stitch markers, yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. So once you have the materials, we can start. Alright guys, by the way guys, I also used a pair of magnet lock uh, to lock my purse or mini bag. Okay. Okay, so grab your yarn and make a slip knot. Okay. And now we're going to make foundation chain. So for the foundation chain, I'd like to make an even number plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Once you have 10 chains, chain one more, but that doesn't count as your stitch. It's just gonna be our turning chain. So in the first chain, the second chain from your hook, this one here, that's one, two, make one single crochet. Turn over and go through. And then add your first stitch marker. I suggest you use stitch marker, guys, because chenille yarn, if you're using chenille yarn, it's going to be hard to, to see the, the stitches. So after that, just continue making one single crochet in each stitch across except the last chain. Okay, so here, single crochet. Two, three, Okay guys, so as you can see, I added one single crochet in each stitch except the last one. So for this last one, we're just going to make three single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so let me show you that. So just insert your hook in the last chain. This is one. Insert in the same stitch again. Two. And in the same stitch again, three. Okay, so you have three single crochet in that same stitch. Now you have to find the stitch here in the on the other side, but you're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch. So you're done with this stitch. The next one is here. Like this this is the next one and insert your foot again I'd like to work with that so just make one single crochet okay That's one. this is the second you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time seeing the stitches so 
just find a single crochet on this side and that is where you want to insert your hook to make a single crochet. So here. there I completed until the second to the last and this is your last stitch instead of making one make two single crochet in the same space one same space two until there. now remove this and make a slip stitch so insert your hook, pull through the loops, like so. Okay, so this is, not, this is not your last stitch. This is your last stitch. So add your, sing, uh, your stitch marker here, just to make sure that you're not going to be increasing your stitch. And then we'll continue. So this is the last stitch. That's why I added the stitch marker. Now let's continue. This is row two. Chain one. It doesn't count as your, uh, your stitch. This is just going to be a turning chain. And then in the same stitch, make one single crochet back loop only. So it's still visible. So there is your loops the V now insert your hook back loop only so and make a single crochet like so so that's your first single crochet now I want you to add your stitch marker so that you won't lose it and you won't increase your row Okay, so we'll continue. Just make one single crochet in each stitch across, but back, back loop only. Okay, here. There you go. You see? So that is how it should look like. So make that single crochet until you reach the very last stitch so this is your last stitch okay all right guys so i am almost done with this row i'll just remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet in the last stitch okay so this is my last stitch i'll just add the stitch marker now so I won't forget and I won't miss where it is okay now for this uh, first stitch we're going to to finish the row we're just going to slip stitch okay insert your hook pull through the loops so this is now how it should look like. So you finish your first or the second row. Now we'll move to the third row. And this is going to be the repeat until you reach the measurement that you need for your um, AirPods holder. So just chain one. And then in that same stitch where your uh, chain one is, you need to insert your hook and make a single crochet so that is your first single crochet and you add your stitch marker again so you won't miss 
Okay. Now make one single crochet in each stitch across. And this time you can now go ahead and make your stitch in both loops. So not back loop, just both loops. So one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay. So yeah, just continue making that until you reach the end of your row, which is here in this stitch marker. Okay, so yeah. And in every row, to finish every row, you need to make a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of uh, the row. Alright guys, so again, I just need to finish this one. So this is my last stitch. I'll just remove that and make one single crochet. And again, I will not forget to add my stitch marker and make your slip stitch here on top of the first single crochet. slip stitch like so okay so just continue repeating row three until you have the height of the project or the airpods holder that you want so chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch across okay and I'll meet you once we have the measurement that we want or the height that we want all right so guys I've completed my rows I have a total of one two three four five six rows not including the base here so you can have seven eight or less in this but this is um, how many rows I have let's just measure that so you'll have an idea so I have here three inches and two inches so it's three by two and then we'll continue with the cover so once you have that chain one sorry so we're gonna chain one and make one single crochet across. So one single crochet across. Sorry, I forgot to add my stitch marker. Again, don't forget that. Actually, you won't need this now, so I'll just remove that. Okay, so I'll just make one single crochet across, just the same. Sorry, just until here. So we're not going to make single crochet around just until you reach this other end. Okay. So just one single crochet. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so here is the other end. So just until you reach that and now chain one doesn't count as a stitch and then you turn your work so it should look like this now now make one single crochet in the same space here the first single crochet there go and then add your stitch marker just to make sure that you won't increase okay and then make one single crochet until you reach the end of this row okay Just make 
one single crochet this is the last one remove your stitch marker and add one single crochet okay so just make uh, just repeat row two so chain one turn your work and make one single crochet across so here then I'll add my stitch marker now you'll just repeat this row repeat row two until you have the full cover for your stitch marker uh, sorry your airpods so let me just so when you cover it like this you'll reach the second or sorry third to the last row okay, so you have one two three i'll make i'll repeat row two until i can cover until here we'll keep two rows here for our decrease okay so let me just do that and i'll be right back all right guys so now i have a total of sorry let's remove this i have a total of six rows so i have that covered i still have two remaining rows here so like that now we're going to make our decrease so again i have made a total of six rows one two three four five six now let's make the increase so chain one doesn't count as a stitch so instead of making your first single crochet here we'll skip this and make your first single crochet here so just single crochet add your stitch marker single crochet until you reach here third to the last now um, keep two stitches because we'll make the decrease okay remove your stitch marker and make your decrease so insert your hook yarn over pull through don't complete your single crochet insert your hook in the last stitch yarn over pull through and then you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops so that's how I increase my stitch now chain one turn your work skip this okay skip your first stitch and make your first single crochet in the second stitch from your hook so this is the first one this is the second one insert your hook and make a single crochet and then add your stitch marker now we'll make one two three four single crochet again until you have two remaining stitches so one, two, three, and four I have two remaining stitches and I'll make another decrease okay so that's it I'll just finish off this is how it should look like now I'll just finish off so if you want to add a three decrease that's fine if you have a if you want the smaller edge here that's fine but yeah this is how I want it so I'll just finish off cut my yarn and pull you can hide this now. 
but I'll just hide that later. So to continue, turn your work and we'll work on the right side here. So grab your yarn. Insert your hook in the very um, start here. So here's your work, right? Turn your work like this and we'll work right here. So in the beginning of this um, cover. So I'll just insert my hook. Attach your yarn. You can attach however you like, but this is how I just attach the yarn. Chain one, and then make slip stitch here. Around. So I'll do that. So here is the first row of single crochet. Insert your hook and make a slip stitch like so. This is another row. Insert your hook and make a slip stitch like that. Second, uh, third, slip stitch. So just uh, make a slip stitch across like so. Here. Here, you just make one slip stitch across, like so. Okay, insert your hook, pull through. I'll just remove this because we don't need that anymore. And yeah, I'll just continue making slip stitch until we finish, until the other end. So like that. Here's the last one. Okay, once you reach the last one, just insert your hook anywhere to attach here. So that's the last single crochet. Insert your hook here. Slip stitch again. Chain one. Cut your yarn and you can finish off. Also. Okay, and that's how you do it. Okay, just weave your ends and add, let's add the magnet lock. All right, so now I'll just show you how I attach my magnet lock. So this is the ma magnet lock that I have. So just cover that like this. So I'll start with the one here. So I'll just touch here on the back. Then you'll have this in front at this one. And then you can use flyers. Okay, just get my Okay, once you have that, you can use your pliers to flip this one. So I'd like to. This is the only fl flyers that I have. So. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'll show you how I will hide this so it's fine if you have this we are going to hide that later 
I just need to attach this as well. So making sure that it's aligned. Just gonna add that. So same. Going to put this one. So and we have that. Okay. To hide this, just. Now let's just hide this, grab your yarn and your yarn needle. Side out, sorry, just that here. And then go here. Just find it. Okay. So now go here and then hide it again here. to make sure that you're not covering this magnet so I'll just go right over there and then go back again so so there it's perfectly hidden here but I think I missed a spot here so I'll just go back Now you see that it's still obvious of course but we can add like a bow here or any design that you like so I'll just add the bow here and I'll show you how I need the bow for the bow guys I'll be using a smaller size yarn so this is a sport weight yarn that I have here so any smaller size yarn that you have that's all right and of course a smaller size hook as well so i'll just make a few chains okay let's do that so just make enough chain so you can make a small bow i'll make 40 chains One, two, three. so you can definitely make longer than this so you can make a bow but I want a smaller bow now once you have the chain just make slip stitch okay sorry let me just do that again so once you have your foundation chain we'll just make a slip stitch from the second hook let me just do that so one two this is the second chain from your hook insert your hook and make a slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both loops like that okay just make that until the end of this chain so insert your hook slip stitch insert your hook 
slip stitch okay guys so I've completed the row I have something like this and I'll just finish off chain one you can make a bow so I'll just make a bow using this okay so this is the front and, and I'll just weave it here thank you so much guys for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you can also hit the bell button so you can be notified if we have new tutorials so yeah uh, have fun guys thanks for watching bye